tennis star Serena Williams was treated for a pulmonary embolism, many people didn't know what it was. A pulmonary embolism results when a blood clot travels from another part of the body, usually the legs, and lodges in the lungs. The blood clot itself just gets bigger and bigger. It reaches this threshold that it just breaks off. And then it starts traveling through your body. And it travels to the point of least resistance smallest blood vessel, which happens to be the lungs. The condition is not as uncommon as you might think. Some 6 million people will develop a blood clot every year. 600,000 will end up with a pulmonary embolism. It can be fatal, but it's also very treatable. If you've developed one blood clot, uh, th the treatment is usually three to six months of the blood thinners. If you have a blood disorder which predisposes you, we keep you on it for life. A large clot can lead to heart failure and may require an immediate delivery of clot busting drugs. If you have heart failure, radiologists can either put a catheter directly into that vessel itself and, and give a clot buster, a thrombolytic type of medicine, and it dissolves the, um, the clot almost instantaneously. Emergency room physicians can also administer that blood clotting medicine, but they do it through a, an IV in your arm. Pulmonary embolisms are linked to deep vein thrombosis, along with hospitalizations, surgery, long periods of inactivity, and even genetics. If you have any concern, call your doctor. Getting proper treatment is your best shot at bouncing back like Serena Williams. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.